Well, and that's the end of the waltzes. Ha, huh, the smoke coming out from it. That's funny. That's a cool touch. So you wouldn't find that in seven. <laughs> you wouldn't find any cool airships in seven either. Oh my god. The Sid in that game is like a disgrace to the name of Sid in Final Fantasy. It is absolutely terrible how they made that Sid character. Oh my god. Jesus. I mean, like, there are so many better Sids. Like, every other Sid in every other Final Fantasy is better. Like, the, the Regent in this game... The Sid, the air, well, actually, Sid, the original airship constructor from the fourth game, you know, the good one, the good airship Sid. <laughs> and then there's, uh, oh my god, uh, Sid in the twelfth game is hilarious. I love him. He is absolutely crazy. And then there's, even Sid in 13 was better. I mean, Jesus Christ. I can't believe I played a part in this debacle. Rand, shut up. Thanks, though. It's not worthy. I'm not worthy. God, you're so dramatic, dude. To protect you, princess, until we return to the castle. Ugh, what a dumbass. That's exactly what you've been doing. I'll follow you to the end of the world. Even though he doesn't. Uh, I can see the main gate of Lindblom. That's Lindblom Castle. It's how gigantic. The city of Lindblom is inside the castle. Wow, that's interesting. How does security in the castle work exactly? I guess Sue and I will go our separate ways once we reach Lindblom. Just when we were beginning to get close. I got really close to her behind. What, Nemo? You're interrupting my dirty thoughts. Are we the same? Well, I mean, why does it matter if you are? I mean, do other people, are they like, am I the same as the other kids in my classroom? Am I just don't matter because they exist as well? No, I mean, why would those mages be the same as you? See, Rand's got some wisdom under his belt. And why would it matter if they were? Yeah, see. See, he says something smart every once in a while. He can't always be stupid. Gotta see Lindblom. It's the best. Look, the Falcon's Gate is right in front of us. <sighs> yes, it is indeed. Man, we're getting a lot of FMVs. Oh, snap. Look at that shit. That is amazing. You won't see anything that cool in a, in a lot of the other Final Fantasies. This is true... Final Fantasy style right here. Fantasy steampunk. That's the style of Final Fantasy. That's how all the good ones are. Twelve is okay, and it did the whole fantasy steampunk thing, but... You know, it was, The environments were a lot better than some of the Final Fantasy games. <sighs> Lindblom Grand Castle and they just let us straight into the castle on that shitty old barge whoa it's huge it's even bigger than Alexandria's castle <laughs> yeah because they actually have a penis Alexandria is just penis envy you see the difference an indoor airship dock this is truly amazing even her majesty's red rose could easily fit in here Red Rhodes has got nothing on the hill to guard. Here comes Walkman Committee. That's a really old airship. Greetings. I am Princess Garnet Tell Alexandros the 23rd. I humbly request an audience with Regent Sid. 
You must be kidding. No member of the royal family, let alone a princess, would ever ride in such a shabby airship. And look at the company you're keeping. How dare you accuse the princess of lying. The princess was forced to come here under extreme circumstances. Well, show me some kind of proof. Very well. Well, bam And she whips out her titties, and she's like, oh my god! Wow, only those tits could be royal. <laughs> well, one with a loud voice and the dirty, rusty armor. What? What's going on? You should have a crazier voice, huh? And one of them is carrying the distinctive Alexandrian left breast. <laughs> no, I gotta stop using that. You are dismissed. I will take care of these insolent fools. Uncle Artania. It's good to see you, princess. Follow me. The regent is waiting. What? Why is he waiting? Come on, Nemo. Get it together, boy. You too, Rand. What the hell were you doing? All right, he goes up there, but we're gonna rob his castle first. Oh yeah, they got some goodies here. Do 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 do. One here. I believe there's three in this room. No, yeah, there's no one there. Yeah, there's one up there and then one up there. I remembers. I remembers now. An ether, I totally need that. That's of vital importance to my success in this game. I thought there was another one. Whatever. Let's see what's on the magnet. It's a letter from Kumar. Thank you very much. Wow, you need to take your meds, buddy. Stilskin visited me, Kupo. He said he found he said he found a place that seemed interesting, and then he left. I wish he stayed longer, Kupo. Where did he go anyway? Let me let me know when you find out. Stiltskin, Stiltskin, Kupo, Kupo. I wonder if he stopped in Lindblom. Why are all why do all of the why are all of the Moogles like wet for Stiltskin? <laughs> I mean, damn, it's crazy. Don't look at it. It's not there. Don't worry about it. Yes, let us be off. We take our leave of you, you silly moogle. You know, I just realized, if I, if I had to choose the most important character in all of the Final Fantasies in history, I would choose the moogle. Moogle is indeed the most important character because you always need a Moogle around. Nobody nobody knows why, but you always need a Moogle around. It's a restricted area. I don't know if you ever get to go down there. I don't remember. Hey, what's up? You're an airman, right? Seems like a lot of girls are joining the crew these days. Oh, hello. Oh, I know that was him. So what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be at the airship docks or something? I uh, passed the flight test for the new model. I was really looking forward to flying number one, but it's gone now. Who knows when they'll finish number two with the region's current condition. Don't worry, you'll get your chance someday. I'll steal that airship back, no problem. Thank you. I feel much better now. Good, I'm Zentane. And your my name is Erin. Hey, that's a really nice name, Aaron. I'm gonna get something to eat now. Do you wanna? I have to go back now. Goodbye. Huh. Aaron. Oh, shut down. I thought you said you were popular with all the ladies, Cindane. So far, you've only ever been shut down, as far as I can see. I mean, even Ruby won't get with you, and she's a slut. She slept with everybody in Tantalus.
Yeah, because that in-between scene was necessary. Lindblom Castle has three levels, all connected by this lift, and this lift alone. From the base level, which lies below the mist, you can take a trolley to the harbor at the back gate. Ships hardly arrive at the harbor anymore, since travel by air has become so popular. The mist poses great danger, so we've sealed off everything. Just above the base level is the mid-level. You can ride the air cab from the mid-level to go to town. The upper level contains the royal chambers and conference room. Access to that level is restricted because the regent himself resides there. What's regent like, Suo? I've lived in Limbo for a while, but I've never met him. Of course you never met him! You're a thief! That poses as an actor to get into gigs. Why would you meet the regent of Lindblom? He's very dependable. He and my father were best friends. I wonder if he will even listen to what I have to say. We're not leaving until he does, that son of a bitch. We'll arrive at the upper level shortly. Anyone, anyone else notice how our Tanya's face is kind of jacked up. Sire, Princess Garnet of Alexandria wishes to see you. Uh, there's nobody there, bro. Dude, ski. Princess, is something wrong? Bridge is near. I don't know who to look at the throne. Who to look at the throne? I don't know, whatever. I must not read that properly. What in the world? <laughs> Greetings. Ooh. Oh, no! Why are you so afraid of a bug, douche? That is one giant ass oglop. I just thought the titties were big and then. Jeez, it's an oglop! Wow, even the oglops are big and Lindblom. <laughs> How dare you greet the princess like this? Get that repulsive bug off the throne immediately! Settle down, you're making an ass out of yourself. What enough of your nonsense. <laughs> I remember that mustache. It just looks it looks just as stupid as always. Yes, greetings all I am Sid Falbo, the regent of Lindblom. I knew it was you. I recognize your pendant's description. It's so much like my falcon claw. I am delighted to see you again, Garnet. You've truly become a fine lady. I, on the other hand, allow me to explain. About six months ago, someone snuck into the castle and attacked the regent in his sleep with a knife. Unfortunately, we were too late. The regent had been transformed into an oglop and his wife, Lady Hilda, was abducted. My goodness. Whoever pulled this off must have been highly skilled. Like, oh wait, no, that was in there. I bet it was you. That's not possible. Are you so sure? Do you know who we are? Of course. I may be a bug, but I'm still the ruler of Lindblom. Uncle Sid, I appreciate you seeing me on such short notice. I desperately need to speak with you about my mother. That's what I figured. But I'm sure it can wait till tomorrow. Why don't you all get rest for today? Thank you. It is time for lunch. <laughs> Look at Nemo, who's like, Yeah, food! Oh! I haven't eaten since I existed. <laughs> Can't stand the food at the castle. It's way too high class for me. I don't know what to do with all the spoons. Cheaper food is much better. You see, and people say fast food is crap. You know you like fast food better than some fancy schmancy bullshit. You know you do. You know you would much rather order a freaking pizza than go out to a fancy restaurant. Everyone knows this. Where have you been? All right. <laughs> Bobo. Oh man, why aren't you a main character, Bobo? You seem like you have so much story. Soup will be ready in a minute. Do you mind? You're standing in everyone's way. Wow. You sure it's everyone's way or just yours, bitch? Oh well. Hey. Yeah, do you want a drink? How about you and me go for a cruise on my airship? Really? An airship? Sounds like you've never been on one. 
you know, Lindblom is quite a sight from high above. Hey, monkey tail, you're disturbing the other customers. What the, you got a tail too, rat face? Come on, come get some. Rat face, after I finish my drink, I'm going to kick your ass. Take it outside, and then Long time, Zendane. Hey, what's up? No wonder you were jealous I was hitting on her. You're one of my exes. Uh, you forgot my name? No, I, I remember. You're Helga, right? Wrong. Christine? No. Oh, yeah. You still live next door. How's it going, Rachel? Man, you've gotten big. You nasty little... <laughs> Come on, I'm kidding. Well, I mean, it's kind of a rat. I mean, I wouldn't say pretty so much as a rat. But, you know... Whatever. It's not like you ever really get to see her face at all. I mean, it's, look at her portrait. Even that's not... Like, really? What? What is that? That doesn't even look like a face. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I need a coin real quick. Heads, I'm going to name it. The... F First name I called her when I was on that other file that doesn't exist and you guys have never seen it. Tails, I'm going to name her after an L tier I considered. So, heads first, tails, L tier. L tier! Looks like your lucky day, Freya. You get to be called. <clears throat> Ooh, it doesn't fit. Well, I can't put the F in there. And Aranosi sounds better than Arafnosi anyway. So, so yeah, it's Aranosi. How have you been, Aranosi? Same old Zendane. How long has it been? Ah, uh, three years. Hey, did you ever find out about your boyfriend? Oh, look at him. Look at that dude. <laughs> oh, God. He looks so stupid. First of all, the hunt. What else? It's a good opportunity to test my skills. Oh, well, I'm sure you'll find him someday. Yeah, I think I'll pass. Lazy bum. Are you ever going to go back? I have no reason to return to Bermisia. There's nothing there for me anymore. I have nothing in my life. Oh, God. <laughs> so, yeah. That's our introduction to Freya. A character that comes out of nowhere. <laughs> Suddenly, a character out of nowhere. <coughs> uh, sorry, I'm not reading this. I had to drink my water. I have brought this matter to everybody's attention, but no one seems to take me seriously. Or they're all in on it, and they don't want to acknowledge it. They they all think I'm distraught over losing father. By the way, why is there? Why is he hardly ever mentioned, <laughs> or ever seen? No character development. Nothing. I understand why you are. So, uh, I understand why you are so eager. I'm unhappy that you came to me. Wait, I'm happy that you came to me for help. At this point, I think you're the only person mother will listen to. When I heard that Lindblom's theater ship was coming to Alexandria, I did decide to sneak on board it. No matter what. I just I just never expected the crew to kidnap me. It was me. I was the one who ordered Tantalus to kidnap you. What? Once I promised you. I once promised your father. <laughs> that that should anything happen, I would protect you. We've known about the disturbances in Alexandria for some time. But we had acted, but if we had, had 
But had we acted directly, it would have started a war. So I asked Baku for help. He and I go way back. Wow, Baku's a badass. The play was a perfect cover to enter Alexandria and get you out. No one would suspect Lindblom was behind it. There were more forces to take action. <clears throat> we were more forced to take action because we knew Alexandria would never seek our help. I'm relieved we were able to get you here. Yes, after losing my friend Baku's livelihood, it's very good that you got here. By the way, we won't be mentioning that silly little airship, the Prima Vista, anymore. Oh, no, no. That is not an important plot device. I don't know how they're related to Nemo, but if Mother is planning to use them for war, we won't let that happen. Even if she were to command an army of black mages, it would make... She won't make a move as long as we have our airship fleet. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. So sorry, Uncle. Don't be so formal. I'm not being formal. I just called you my uncle. That's like the least formal thing that you can call a regent of a kingdom. It's uncle. Whether he's actually your uncle or not. And he's not. <laughs> the heart and soul of Lindbom, our airship dock. This is dock number one, where we conduct our research. But where are the airships? Well, you see, that's the thing. About six months ago, I got into a little game of poker. Yes, I was a little drunk. Um... And, well, I bet the Prima Vista. In the end, Hilda found out and, you know, stormed off with the new airship. Pretty ironic, eh? She hasn't been back since. I've been working on the Hilda Guard, too, but it hasn't been going too well. My mind just isn't the same as an Arglop. Well, I mean, don't you have, like, notes and, you know, schematics from the last one? Can't you just rebuild the Hildegard one? You know? I mean, really? You took no notes while developing an airship? No schematics or any sort of blueprints for it? Damn. No wonder she left you. Uncle, is something wrong? No, I was just thinking... About how the theater ship crashed. Baku sure has good men working under him. Ooh. Oh yeah, that was a that was a good wank, wasn't it, Zendane? It was. Nemo, I told you not to come in when I'm having my fun time. You're up early. Lindblom is a really busy place. I've never seen this many people before. I wonder where people go when they want to be alone. Well, they usually leave town or come here, you know. I mean, that Moogle last night, he, you know, he went in there to be alone and, well, let's just say he ended up not being so alone. What? Do they still live here? Yeah, our hideout is in the theater district. Let me go there right now. Want to come along? Okay, then I'll give you a little tour. No, that's okay. Oh, okay. Go find yourself a cute girl, alright. I told you, I'm gay. No, why are you back? I thought I had seen the last of you, my arch nemesis. No! Synthesis is pretty much the simplest thing you could uh, possibly think of. I mean, you make items with more items. It's that simple. You just have to have the items. It even tells you which ones you need. So, I mean, there's nothing to it. There's a letter for Zendane. From Ruby. Hey, y'all come back. Back to Alexandria. I'm so lonely. You're kidding. I'm opening a little theater shit. Theater in the out of here. I bought that in a pile of mine. It's quitting the saloon business and getting into showbiz. He asked me to help. Your friend is starting a mini theater? Sounds like fun. Cool let us save. They won't let us go. 
<laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna, yeah, you know what, I'm gonna save here and then end this, uh, end this little, this little foray into Final Fantasy IX here, so I'll uh, catch you guys later.